Hello there, my name is Josh Diotti, Van Guru here at Van Do It, and today we are here to talk about the Thule awning. The awning will be the focal point of many gatherings as you travel, and will work to provide shade as well as rain cover, whether that be at a sporting event, a camping outing, or even with one of our clients as they drive alongside a row of trees picking berries. So, the goal today with this video is to talk about some of the product features, as well as ask some questions to help you decide if it's right for you. So, let's get into it. So let's start with the obvious. The first thing I always tell every client to consider is where they live and where are you planning to travel with the van. Now if either of these falls within an area of an intense sunlight, then the awning may be something for you to consider. What's great about the Thule awning is it extends two to three feet without the need to fold down the legs, which means you can simply hang around the slide door without having to do a lot of maintenance of pulling the awning all the way out. This also works great if it's raining. If you get a light rain and you just have that awning out a couple feet, it'll shield you from rain as you have the slide door open, enjoying that cool air. This leads me to the second question I always like to ask clients, which is usually more of a conversation, but simply put, what does a camping trip look like for you? Is this something where you're going to be hanging out at a campground all day long with the van, or are you one that does a biking or hiking excursion throughout the day and you're not really at the van? Determining this can be really helpful. Essentially what we're doing is considering the time of day you will be at the van. If you're going to be at a campground all day long, that means you'll be at the van with peak hours of sunlight where it's really hot. The awning may be more valuable. If you're going to be doing hiking and biking or different excursions throughout the day and you're not really hanging out at the van, then the awning may become less valuable for you. Another important factor to consider is maintenance. While most manual awnings should be left to SUVs and trucks, the manual awning is the perfect combination of simple to use and low maintenance. With the manual crank handle, it requires no unzipping and no manual unrolling. So if you are someone who's low maintenance, don't worry. The Thule awning couldn't get simpler. So let's get into the product features and I'll show you. So let's talk setup. The awning is mounted to the roof rack or the roof rails via our key track. We provide custom mounting brackets with the purchase of the awning. This way we can adjust the awning away or closer to the van, as well as front to back, or even the other side of the vehicle. It's important to note the purchase of a roof rack is not required to have an awning. You will just need the roof rails. To bring the awning out, we're going to start by extending our telescoping crank handle. Once we've done that, we're going to place the receiver in the awning. Once extended, place the telescoping crank handle in the receiver. Slowly crank by having one hand on the middle handle and the other at the bottom of the turn handle. The extension arms will begin to expand as you turn. These arms are spring-loaded, which help absorb tension on a windy day. When the awning is all the way out, you will pull out the two support legs. To do this, pull out on the top end of the leg first. The leg should pull out a few inches towards the outside edge and release the silver foot from the gray holding. It should then swing down. Now adjust the vertical height of the legs to get the desired angle. Like the rest of the Van Duet materials, these legs are aluminum material and corrosion resistant. Once out, use the provided stakes to stake in the legs. If you are on concrete, you can try using the car jack or a jerry can. If you live or are going to be in a high windy area, know that Thule does not recommend utilizing an awning with over 30 mile an hour winds. When it's time to put the awning away, simply repeat these steps backwards. Make sure that the silver foot is tucked towards the awning and not towards the van so that it can tuck behind the gray holding piece. Now that we've talked about setup, let's recap some of the things to consider to decide if the awning is for you or not. Keep in mind where you live and are planning to travel. Number two, keep in mind the time of day you think you'll be using the awning. And lastly, consider the maintenance level. That's all I have for you here today. I leave you with one pro tip. If you are using the awning in the rain, you can adjust one leg to be slightly lower than the other. This way the rain runs off one corner instead of the entire front edge. So that's all I got for you. We'll see you guys on the next video.